Welcome to Mods and Reviews. My name is Brady. Just want to show you a quick way you can uh, vacuum out your underground, uh, your above ground pool. Um, I've struggled with this for a long time. It is uh, something that I've figured out and have pretty much gotten down to a science uh, given the right supplies. Uh, you will need this Intex filter with the motor compartment that is separated from the actual filter itself. That way any rocks that get in there won't bust your motor. Uh, it is linked in the description below. I always do that in my videos so if you are watching one of my videos just go ahead and click down if you're interested in looking at the product and click down in the description. You should find the product in the description. Uh, if you find this information helpful uh, please support me by uh, liking, sharing, and subscribing this video. Thank you. Okay, so today I'm going to just show you the way I vacuum out the pool. Um, this is a little skimmer. I just have it attached to the ladder there. I don't like it uh, having this quick set. I don't like it touching any part of the plastic whatsoever because uh, it will wear on it. Um, this piece of hose right here is a piece of uh, vacuum hose I got from Home Depot. Um, in fact, I prefer it a little bit better than those pool hoses. They, they seem to hold up a lot better. I've had this hose for a couple years now and some of the other hoses I've used have kind of rotted and, and stuff. Um, but over here, as you can see, I have the Intex. Um, and this is important. If you're just using a single uh, filter, in other words, this part is just the filter itself. That means the motor's down here. Um, it's probably not going to work out for you because if you get uh, some rocks or st something caught in the motor, it's going to bust your motor. Uh, but I like this uh, filter better because it's, it's got a timer on it. But it's also got the motorist uh, housing is separate from the actual filter part. Uh, that way I can use this uh, return here uh, as my suction for the uh, vacuum. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to pull this off. And you see the way I have this connected? I just happen to have uh, this uh, extra part here. And I'll just show you. Well, of course, it's going to catch some crap in there. I'm going to leave that intact, but I, I this piece of plastic uh, fits right over this uh, Summer Waves little intake, uh, so it's pretty nice. And um, I just happen to have this extra part from a previous setup and this little adapter piece that you can see right here. Now I'm going to run the skimmer for a few minutes because there's some debris and stuff, and I just turned the skimmer on. Um, but after that, uh, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and empty out the skimmer and then I'm going to get the other hose out and I'm just going to attach this piece to the hose and then I have a uh, vacuum thing right there that I just, it's actually from an actual vacuum cleaner but it fits in that uh, hose attachment so I'll just ho uh, I'll just stick that on there on the end of the hose and then what I do once I get the hose connected it's in here this black one here this is actually part of that same hose uh, but what I did is I had an extra extra long hose so I just cut off about uh, I don't know six foot or so to make my uh, attachment for the uh, skimmer uh, but this is the, uh, the rest of the hose that I use uh, for the vacuum um, now, <clears throat> that little blue plastic piece does not uh, sit in there, like, because uh, it, it does have some, uh, it doesn't fit over it quite perfectly. So, to get suction out of it, w once I have this, uh, I, get, I get all the air bubbles out of both sides of the hose, but then w once it's connected to the uh, uh, other attachment, and then I have the open end here. I'm gonna have to plug that for a few, uh, maybe 30 seconds or so, till I have good suction. Otherwise, the, the uh, hose is just gonna come off 
but if you uh, get that proper suction on there, it will stick and you can vacuum out the pool and it's pretty effective. I've done it without the, the vacuum attachment, uh, but this vacuum attachment makes it so much easier. I used to spend a couple hours doing that, uh, just using the end of the hose there. But if you have this, it, it's actually suctions to the floor and it will pick up any debris that's down there. Okay, so one thing I think I forgot to mention, the first thing you wanna do before you vacuum the pool, you wanna just go ahead and uh, take the skimmer cartridge out, a uh, little cage if you're using one. As you can tell, it gets a lot of stuff in there. And if you just release it, uh, that'll all float back up to the surface. Um, so I already went ahead and vacuumed the pool, but this is uh, basically my setup right there, as you can see. And then the next thing you want to do, oh, and I actually uh, just stuck the vacuum in there and I. Uh, got all the stuff that kind of sunk to the bottom and of course anytime you are vacuuming um, some stuff is gonna not make it all the way through the uh, little uh, skimmer attachment there uh, that's why you see you know a couple a little bit of debris floating around but once we have that skimmer uh, reattached um, it will just go back into the skimmer uh, so the next thing that we want to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and shut this off. And then I will go ahead and um, clean the filter after I uh, basically attach the, uh, the plugs on both ends there. And then I will clean the filter and then I'll reattach the skimmer. And then that's pretty much it. And you'll have a pretty clean pool after that. Only took me about uh, 15 minutes so far to do. The next test will probably take me about 10 minutes or so. Just uh, for the next step, I'll just show you for the sake of showing you. Uh, first thing you want to do is release this valve here. Uh, after you've uh, plugged, turned off the filter and, and uh, plugged both ends. Okay, and then you just unscrew the top. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. That's all the stuff, mostly stuff that went through the skimmer, stuff that I just vacuumed up. Uh, so I'm going to rinse that off. And as you can see, there's a bunch of crap in there. So I'm going to remove the gasket. And I'm just going to let this thing drain as much as it will go. Might even, you know, hit it with the garden hose. Rinse it, give it a good rinse. Get the other little gasket out. But as you can see, it's not too bad now. And, uh, you know, might spray it down with the hose a little bit, but that's about it. So now you just uh, go ahead and spray everything off and put the filter back in and just do the reverse of, of those steps. And then you can reattach the skimmer, and that's it.